Today's sponsored Saturday is brought to you by Honey. <laughs> the holiday season is coming up, which usually means for me a lot of online shopping. So I thought it was the perfect time to, if you haven't heard about it yet, tell you about Honey. Honey is a free browser extension. It installs in two clicks and Honey will search the web far and wide for you on over 20,000 sites to find the best discount codes and coupon codes that you probably don't know about when you're online shopping. Because it works on over 20,000 sites, that means you can use Honey on Amazon, eBay, Forever 21, Best Buy, Sephora, Target, etc., etc. The winter, winter's coming, so I was like, I need some more like versatile jackets, and I did a little shopping spree on Forever 21. I used Honey, and I saved $76.25 on my order. That's a lot, um, and I didn't know that, you know, Forever 21 had new coupon codes going on at the time, so Honey pops up right on the top of your screen. You click it, and it'll let you know if there are any savings. It's literally free money, and there's no reason not to install it, especially if you're going to be doing some online shopping for your family and friends. And if you're not, maybe let somebody else know um, about Honey, and you can tell them to go to joinhoney.com slash gb and install Honey in just two clicks. Everyone who's gone to my link and signed up with Honey, we've saved over $323,000. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Honey is extremely highly rated. It has over 100,000 five-star reviews. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. So get Honey for free today by going to joinhoney.com slash gb. That's joinhoney. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, honey, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GB, and we're doing soft speaking today because I've actually done quite a bit of whispering. I've had like a... It actually happens to me every year, but I have like a pretty bad cold. I feel like it's allergies. Um, so I've been whispering a lot to sort of cover up the, <sighs> but I'm getting better. Um, I think I still sound a little something something, but maybe it'll actually be kind of preferred for some of you who like this sort of sound quality. Today I have I'm gonna have trouble titling this video, but essentially, it's like, I have these bags, boxes, and jars. So they're all kind of like beauty products almost. Um, bags, boxes, and jars. Containers. I don't know. But this type of sound... favorite. So, I have three, two makeup bags. I'm not going to show them to you yet. I have the brush case. It almost looks like an old-fashioned CD case. Um, I have two boxes. And I have two jars. So this is very, this video will be very much based off of, I have these props and I want to ramble and use them as triggers. And hopefully this will be effective for some of you. This is more straightforward, so. I want to start with my favorite one because lest you fall asleep, it would be a tragedy if you did not see it. What the tragedy truly is, is that 
can't remember off the top of my head who I ordered this from, but I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna put it in the description box because it's um, it was made by an independent artist. I feel like I've shown this on my channel before, but this is a little pouch. You can use for makeup, pencil case, whatnot. Even like just any sort of traveling. You can put documents, tickets, passport in here. Just a little leather pouch. And printed on this pouch are some of the main characters of Class 1A. In the very popular anime, My Hero Academia, or if you don't speak English, just kidding, <laughs> Boku no Hero Academia, same thing. Um, I just thought it was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I needed to have it, and here we are. I really like desperately need to get my nails done, but I'm terrified that if I go, when they take off the gel, the length of my nails will be ruined. So I wanted to make this before I got them done, so I'm sorry, but I wanted the length. Should we go through the characters? Let's see if I can remember them all. Sometimes off the top of my head it could be hard. Oh, we have more than class 1A here. We have somebody else. It's Shinji? Is that his name? Okay. Both sides are different. Um, they have some overlap. Okay. Here we have... Why do I want to say his name is Tanjiro? Is it? I'm gonna let myself be wrong. You can correct me in the comments. Tail guy. I think we've seen the least of him in the series, to be honest. Then we have Invisible Girl. Hagakure, I think. Her quirk is that she's invisible. I really wish that they would like throw paint on her or something and then you'd be able to see the outline of her face. I want to see what she looks like. like. There's no way she hasn't done that, right? If you were invisible, wouldn't you want to like see what you look like? It's like if you put makeup on, you could essentially build your face, right? Oh my gosh, that would be so weird. Deku, our little cinnamon bun main character. His name is Midoriya. But his hero name is Deku. We have, oh goodness, sweet. No, this isn't sweet boy, this is sweet boy. Um, he can talk to animals. And I usually know his name, but I can't remember his name right now. He talks to animals. He's scared of bugs. Todoroki. Todoroki Shoto. He is half fire, half ice. He has a scar on his eye that he got, um, you know, from a family member. So basically, like Zuko's cousin. 
Then we have... Oh god, he has a bunch of limbs. I don't remember his name either off the top of my head. I actually need to catch up. I've seen um all of this new season except for the one that just aired this, this last weekend. We have Kaminari and little Pikachu. Kirishima. One of my absolute favorites. Momo. Bao Yoros. I actually have a we'll play as her. Jiro. She has headphones coming out of her ears. Froppy. Asui. Tsuyu. Everybody has like three names. Like, good luck, you know? Nina. Good girl. This is the sugar, sugar, sugar rush. Oh, Bakugo, my angry little boy. <laughs> Best boy. On the back, you missed uh, Ida, Ochako, Sero, um, Tokoyami, and oh my gosh, why am I blanking on his name? Enjoy the tingles while I have a brain part. Belly button beam. Stop it. Aoyama. Aoyama. A-O-Y-A-M-A. -A -A. Yeah. This sounds so nice. Oh my gosh. It's little shapes in the background. Pink triangle. Blue star. Other makeup bag. It's two different materials. This one was like a leather, leatherette almost. And this is more of a plastic patent leather maybe? Like no, 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 no. You can hear it. It has a lot of structure. It's got like sparkles in it. It's sparkly. Slightly reflected. And this is from Benefit San Francisco. They gave out little gifts. And it says, Aren't you gorgeous? Aren't you gorgeous? Oh, you're so gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. So it has what I assume is San Francisco. I've never been there, but that's the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes. I don't know any of the skyscrapers though. Aren't you gorgeous? I love material like this. Sounds perfect. Perfect for tapping. Because you can tap so lightly. Do some finger pad tapping. Oh, you gorgeous. You Very, um, non-basic videos coming out this month. So I was like, let me, let me, let me, let me chill out for a second. Just grab some nice sounding things. Play around with them. It's 
got the zipper that goes all the way around. This is how I prefer my um, my makeup bags when they open like this because you can lay most things fairly flat and see it all at once. You don't have to like rummage in, if that makes sense. Like a, a bag like this. See, I would like to store more flat things in here. I usually actually use this for jewelry, which is interesting. But if this was makeup. You'd have to like rummage, 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 rummage to get to it. I like this for makeup because it's got a, it's got the thickness, so you can actually store things. Like an empty book, almost. I'm really kind of on the search for a bigger makeup bag. These are really good for traveling, organizing, breaking things up. I use this one for my skincare when I travel. I'll put the skincare bottles in there. The last one is the one that I think has been in my channel more recently. So, so it was the brush kit. I guess we just call this like a kit container holder organizer. This is the type of item that I think I could do a full video on. Easily, easily, easily. Especially because inside they have the brushes.
I think we did this before where you like I can use the cases in the brush to brush the case. Let's try this one. Boxes or jars? No, boxes, boxes, boxes. This is my favorite foundation. Let me move this over. I got this for the first time in April when I was at Anime Boston and I needed a very full cover foundation so I went to Sephora and I asked the very nice lady and she handed me this she's like this and then she told me that she recognized me from YouTube so if you're watching this and you helped me out in Boston. I'm on my third one of this, thanks to you. It is the best foundation I have ever worn. It blends beautifully and it feels, it feels light. You can't tell I have it on, can you? <laughs> this is the color or shade 250. 250. Um, I think I went a little darker this time around buying it because I actually went in the sun this summer. So it's from Lancome and it's their Ultra Wear and it has 15 SPF sunscreen which I didn't know, actually. Full coverage. Velvety matte finish. Oil free, fragrance free, transfer resistant, non- Something word I don't know. Tested on sensitive skin. Tested under derma dermatological control. This one's really nice.
this was the box for it, obviously. Paris, New York, Montreal, made in France, expiration, March 2021. I'll use it by then. The next tingly box, this actually has a product inside is this lip scrub from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, fellow YouTuber. Uh, he also is a business tycoon, but a fellow YouTuber. And this is a Velour lip scrub. This is vegan, and the reason why it's important that it's vegan is because you can eat it. Extremely yummy, edible, vegan, cruelty-free. Distributed by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So it comes in this little... Tiny square box. I got this last Christmas, so it's actually, um... It's getting to be its expiration date. So this one has a, a shelf life of 12 months. All makeup is supposed to have a shelf life. Um, I feel like for something that's edible, it might be more important. But let me open it and show you, actually. It's so cute. <laughs> I got the eggnog. It was Christmas time. And now it's, it's appropriate again. This little sparkly jar. This one is a jar and a box. Wow. Little stars are on the whole edge here. I tried to get the Jeffrey uh, Shane palette, but I was much too late. <laughs> um, so, you literally just like, you get some. Oh, I wonder if this. Can you hear this? little sugar crystals almost and you put it on your lips this is about to be the weirdest sugar I've ever done So it's all over your mouth now, right? And usually with a lip scrub, you'd have to wash it off. I wonder if you're supposed to get your lips wet first. I didn't. But instead, you just... <laughs> and you can literally lick it off. Which is like... What an idea. We're living in, we're living in 2020. I'm sure some of you just like woke up and were like, what is going on in this video right now? But 
that goes in the box. And there you have it, you know. Use this delicious sugar scrub to prep your lips before applying your liquid lipstick. Take a scoop. Scoop, 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 scoop. Scoop, scoop, scoop. A scoop out and rub your lips in the circular motions. Lick away or wipe off with a tissue. Do not substitute this product for a meal. Listen, this is coming up on its expiration date, so you're going to see me in like December 24th with like a spoon. Like, <laughs> I'm kidding. I really shouldn't. I shouldn't be filming today. I'm in, I'm in some type of <laughs> silly, silly mood today. This one sounds too much like the one we just were doing, so I'm going to do this one first. Maybe we won't do this one today, because I forgot that we had the lip scrub inside the box. I'll just do this first, for a little bit, we'll blow, blow that. Okay, it's got a textured under bottom thing here. This is the overnight mask that I use. I have two. Um, this was the first one I got. Gel and Moisturizer. really use this as a mirror. This could be really useful when you're traveling, to be honest with you. I never thought about using this as a real mirror, but it's like way, uh, way more clear than I thought. Something, sometimes things are reflective, but you can't like really see, but this would be good because you can then apply it on. I've used quite a bit of this one, actually. Looks like icing. You just and put it on like our hands or something. It's getting to be that time, you know, to start taking care of your hands before winter gets ya. My hands have always like shown um dryness like a lot. Like, so even if it's just like a little bit dry, it looks like it is a lot more than it is. 
And because you can hear my finger flutters, people think that I have like really perpetually, perpetually dry hands. Nay, nay, that is not true. But we'll put on this little overnight mask. And the last thing I have is another jar. And this is hair cream. It is technically called forming cream. This is what Ben uses. I actually need to make sure he or I pick up another one because it's like almost empty. I told I told him to grow out his hair and see what happens. So poor thing. I think I've been using a lot of this to try and compensate. Uh, he has extremely thick hair, so I'm like, you can't complain, okay? You're not allowed to complain about that. Um, but he always cuts it very short. Because when you have very thick hair or a certain texture of hair, when the sides grow out, they just sort of like go out, you know? But you have to fight against it. You have to say no. And when your hair gets long enough, you will win that battle. And it will be tamed. <laughs> so, we are in the midst of that battle. I think long hair for men is really coming back. Like, long hair. Not like the emo hair. Although, mine can look a romance. I hope Gerard dies at black. Sure he won't. Um, but I think long hair is like really in right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's a hard hairstyle to, you know, jump on the the trends the trend train with because you have to grow your hair first. So check back in a little bit. You know, we'll see. Oh, there's some product under. But this one sounds very soft. I liked it. It's a little different. also has an expiration date of 12 months, but these go through pretty fast, like I said. Should I put some in my hair? Ben just came home. I think he realized I'm filming. <laughs> well, it's probably a perfect time, because this is our last item anyway. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I love these type of videos. It's just, uh, it reminds me of Heather Feather back in the day. Just like trigger assortment. I'm like, I don't care what you have in front of you. I just want you to tap on it and tell me about it, even if it's something simple. So, I always really enjoyed these and I love making them. So, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you sleep well. Good night, everyone.